Satan himself heals. Why he heals that? His body naturally has to heal. I'll give you an example. Man gets a heart attack, God forbid. Now what happens is, at the center of the heart attack, the cells die. The minute the cells die, if nobody does anything, and no doctor interferes, the neighboring cells say, oh my God, my friend has died. They love one another so much. They slip out and come there and occupy. There's a second stage. Cell death is stage one. The second stage is cell slipping. When the cell slips out, there's a mother holding the cell, which is cement, which we call as collagen. The mother says, where has my son gone? And the mother knows my son would never go for anything other than helping others. He must have gone to help somebody. I will also help him. So it produces more collagen. So fibroblastic proliferation. You got a very strong scar. Now the cells far away, they can't do that, they feel bad. I have not done anything. So they say, okay, let me become stronger. So they become hypertrophy. Four things happen, cell death, cell slipping, fibroblastic proliferation, and hypertrophy. These four things, what is called remodel the whole heart. So if you get a heart attack, and if you're lucky not to die, because 60% of people who get a heart attack don't even get to see the next second. They die. The remaining 40% bakras only we, we you know, do all kinds of things. But even those, by chance, by chance, they don't come to the hospital and still survive, they probably get a beautiful heart. A study in Bristol and Sheffield showed that heart attack patients with good risk, which means heart attack patients who have no pain and who are alive, are better off left at home than taken to the hospital and then looked after because mortality is much better left at home. Now this is because the body heals itself. And this healing is a process which can be helped by our lifestyle. So the future must be for wellness lifestyle, which Ayurveda says, Swastasya, Swastha, Rakshitam. Preserve the health of the well. And this is what I call as a wellness concept, which requires simple things. One, most important thing is the mind. The mind filled with universal compassion. Mind without negative feelings. No hatred, no jealousy, no greed, no pride, no anger. Because you don't have to be pride because for every cell in your body, you have nine cells which are germ cells. Not yourselves, because germs are a part of us. So how can you say, I, I am somebody, I am nobody. Even to say, I, I must get nine germ cells permission for one cell of mine. <laughs> so when once you know that, when once you know that, you become so humble. And humility in Indian concept is the virtue of education. And humility is a health giving thing. So if you are humble and genuinely compassionate, you will be very healthy. Next thing is, eat in moderation. Whatever you want to eat, eat in very, very less. And then every day have some exercise. And do something for others. This is the most important thing. Shamavad, aptopa sevi bhavet arogyam. And data, be a data, be a giver. Human body, human body is not a machine made out of different parts. Human body is a colony of happy 50 trillion cells with two and a half trillion germs of all kinds of germs. So friends, it's very simple. Again, healthy living is simple living, high thinking, loving others and trying to do something for society. Thank you very much.